Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge, and welcome to Vinculture, the little shop, which is a very lovely game about owning and running a little shop, surprisingly enough. So our little shop is in a fantasy world, which means it will start off selling fairly ordinary mundane items, things like apples and nails and wood and shirts, all kind of, you know, fairly standard stuff for the world we're in. But there are also more fantastical items, like healing potions and such like, that we might be able to get our hands on. And as time goes on, we get to develop the shop, we unlock new items, we get new furnishings, we expand the shop a little bit, we can have a garden like you can see on the screen there, we can plant things outside. It just looks like a really nice, lovely, charming game. Now I know Dave over at the wee hours has played this, but it was quite some time ago. I had to go and check when it was, and it was over a year ago. And even back then, I remember thinking, do you know what? I'd like to give this a go. This looks like my kind of thing. And it took a while to get around to it, but here we are, better late than never, I suppose. Now, this is early access, so there might be bugs and glitches and things might go wrong, and it's not the finished version, all that kind of stuff. But of course, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below. If you want to go and check it out and wish us it and such like, then you can do so. And we were indeed given a key to this by the devs which is very kind so thank you very much devs that is very very lovely of you so let's go shopkeeping and play ourselves some vinculture which is the correct pronunciation because i checked it online and the internet would never lie so in terms of difficulty we will play on the normal mode i think the recommended shopkeeping experience and it just says a balanced experience it has no more words to offer than that it's just balanced and that's kind of your regular kind of mode there is easy normal hard very hard that's relaxed which looks like a sort of version of easy, but there appears to be no debt and you don't actually go bankrupt. And then there's creative, where everything is free and you can just build the shop however you like it. As lovely as that sounds, as lovely and fun as that could be, I kind of think, given this is a shop simulator, I think we need to be, you know, doing stuff with money. We need to be making profit and loss and, you know, that kind of thing needs to be going on. So yes, we all go on normal mode. Dear child, this property has been in the family for generations and now it is yours. It will make us proud if you could do what we could not, and that is to clear our family name of debt and return the Koopman name to its former glory. The idea is simple, sell things for more than you bought them. I kind of get how shops work, it's fine. Then expand and decorate to appeal to more customers. Good luck, we are counting on you, Max Koopman. Okay, well we'll give it a go, Max Koopman. I mean, we will try our hardest. However, there's no guarantees, Max, so if it all goes wrong, I Apologise in advance. Oh, okay, this is exciting. I wasn't expecting this. So we get to design the shopkeeper, which is the character that we play as. Oh, how splendid. Okay, right. So character type one out of two. I assume two out of two turns into a chap. There we go. Um, no, we'll play as you. We'll play as a lady because they were there first. Uh, skin color eight out of 17. That looks fine to me. Hair type one out of three. Okay, what are the hair types are there? So that's one out of three. Uh, let's put it on to two out of three. That's just more hair. So that's some hair, that's more hair, that is, that's less hair. Oh, we can turn you round, that's quite handy. That's less hair. I do, I like that. I like that look. I think, yeah, as well as it looking a little bit edgy, as well as it looking a little bit daring for ye olde medieval fantasy world times, um, also, it's quite practical. Because if we're running around the shop and bustling about the place, doing lots of restocking and what have you, you don't want your hair going in your face. So I think that's going to be pretty good. So we'll have that hair colour. Okay, let's go back to the start. So what can we have? I quite like that. I quite like that. That's quite sort of visually startling, isn't it? I quite like that there. Uh, what else have we got? We've got just the ordinary range of colours. There is quite a nice red just there. That looks quite dramatic as well. Um, no, let's go for that. Let's go for that just there. Um, eye colours one out of eight. Um, okay, uh, whatever. Green. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for that green there. That'll do. Um, outfit type one out of one. So we can't change our outfit. We can change the colour, however. Okay, so we've kind of got brown apron with white kind of uh, top there. Then we can go for a green apron with a white top. Oh, it's changed the colour of the um, sort of uh, necklace pendanty thing she's got on there. Um, and then the third one is is blue. Okay, okay. Now, as much as I think we should go with the blue, because it's kind of Geek Cupboard corporate, I don't think it really works. I don't think it suits her as she stands right now. I don't think that kind of works. I think we'd be better off going for this one here. So the green apron with the white top, and it matches her eyes and the gem thing that she's got around her neck. I quite like that. That looks really good. So we'll take that. Um, shoe type, we can't change our shoe type. These are the shoes that we have been given. However, we can change the color of our shoes, which I'm sure is important to somebody somewhere. So we've got that color of shoe or that color of shoe or that color of shoe. Okay, yeah, that doesn't really go with our outfit there. Um, do you know what? There, that looks fine. That looks okay. Let's just go back to the outfit. Yeah, there we go. That's absolutely fine. Right, well, there you go. Right, our character is set up. And yeah, she looks good. She looks like she's going to get ready to do some very good shopkeeping. 
Okay, so here we go, and there is our shopkeeper in our shop. However, we did not get to give her a name as part of the character creation process, which I thought we might have done. I mean, we designed her appearance, but we didn't get to give her a name. And I think she needs a name, so we're going to give her a name. It won't appear in the game, of course, because it's not part of that, but we need to refer to her as something other than the shopkeeper. I can't just go around saying the shopkeeper is doing this, that, and the other. It just doesn't sound right. It sounds way too impersonal, because she is the life and soul of this shop. She is the beating heart of this place. She's going to choose all the things to sell and she's going to decorate the shop and she's going to arrange it and put the furnishings out and make sure it's a big success. So we can't just call her the shopkeeper. That's just not good enough at all. So I've had a little think about this and I've pondered a few names and I think we're going to call her Dorothy. I do like the sound of that. Dorothy the shopkeeper sounds wonderful. So say hello to Dorothy the shopkeeper everybody. So there she is. She's in our shop, and when they called this game Vinculture the Little Shop, they were not joking about the littleness of the shop, were they? Because this shop is teeny tiny. It's really small. Look at the size of the shop. It's a very small space for us to work in. We're not going to fit very many customers in here. Now, in time, we can expand the shop, and we can build on extra bits, and build extra rooms, and doors, and arches, and all that kind of stuff, but that's a little way off. We need quite a bit of money to start doing that, so we're going to have to maximise this space right now to make sure that we get as much money as we can from all of our customers, and of course, we don't want to overcrowd the shop with too many things everywhere, because then people can't get round, and they're going to get a bit annoyed. The shop's all busy and cluttered and probably won't come in again, so yeah, it's going to be quite tricky to sort out this very, very small space into something quite useful for that's going to work with all the customers. And um, also, you'll notice that the shop is entirely bereft of anything at all. There is nothing in the shop. There's just Dorothy looking around, wondering why she's done this and whether it was a terrible mistake to take this thing on. Because given this has been passed down through the generations of our family, they've not left us with very much, have they? They've left us with very, very little indeed. I mean, we've got the shop. We've got the shop shell. We've got a door. We've got a couple of windows. And of course, the lovely shop sign. And that's it. We've got nothing else going on in the shop. I mean, would it have been too much trouble for them to leave behind a table and a chair, possibly? Do you know what? Even a chair. Even a chair. That would have been absolutely fine. At least we could have had a nice sit down. But no, there is nothing. There is nothing at all. So I don't quite know how badly mismanaged this shop has been in the past. But uh, but yes, I'm sure we can at least do a little bit better than having bailiffs come in and take everything away from the shop. So clean slate. We can build whatever we like. Now, we do have 320 monies just here. So we can use that to put stuff around the shop and invest in products and all that kind of stuff. We do, however have to pay some of our debt every so often. So in four days' time, we are going to need to make sure that we still have 40 money because we need to pay off some of our debt. But that's not a one-off thing. That's going to keep happening. That's going to happen 20 times. So we owe quite a lot of money to whoever it is that we owe money to. I mean, yeah, we're going to have to do that 20 times. That's an awful lot of cash. So we need to make sure that in four days, we have that amount of money to spend. And I don't know if that goes up. I don't know if that goes up the more we pay off our debt or if it comes down or whatever. I'm not entirely sure, but we've got to make sure we've got that. Okay, so let's start getting on with actually building some stuff, shall we? So if we're going to build, that's where we can expand our shop. We can build extra bits and there's things here. We can build archways and doorways and windows and all that kind of stuff. We don't want to do that right now because we don't have the money to do that, really. We need to actually get some profit in, get some products, get some customers, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go down here to buy. And the first thing we get to buy is a counter. So this is where people are going to come up and ask for assistance. And also traders can come in as well and offer to do a bit of trading. So they're going to go to the counter. Now, we probably want this out of the way. Initially, I thought, let's put it here, right in front of the doors. But people don't come in to see me. They come in to see the products. So let's try and tuck the counter away in the corner, shall we? So there's some green footprints. That's where people are going to stand. That's where customers are going to stand. I wonder if we can just lean it right against that wall. Hang on, bring it round. Can we put it just there. So it's right against this wall at the bottom here. But can we fit round? So if we put that table just there, that's splendid. Can we fit round the back of it? Yes, we can. And there's kind of like a ledger and a quill and an inkwell and that kind of stuff. So we've got that. And now we need to go back into buy and we need to get ourselves some tables. So this is for use uh, for displaying items. So we put our items out onto the tables and then people wander about and they have a browse and hopefully they buy some stuff. They are 32 monies each. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So we can put one over here. And again, you can put them at jointy angles and it's got the little footprint things as to where people can stand. Let's put that one. Let's put that at a bit of a sort of a rakish angle just there. So we'll put that one just there. I think we might want to start with at least three tables, I would have thought. So maybe we could put one over in, say, that corner. Um, yeah, I assume everyone can still get to that, can't they? The green footprints still do appear in that corner. So we'll put one there. 
So that's two tables. So now we can sell two things. And then let's put another one over there in that corner. Oh, no, it want green footprints on that. So someone can get around the other side. Can they get around the other side? Um, there. Yes, they can. No, now they can't for some reason. Yes, they can now. Okay, so drop that down just there. So that's three tables. Is that going to be enough? Or do we want to drop a sneaky fourth table in down here, say? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's put this table here. Um, and then, or do we have like a centerpiece? Maybe we have a centerpiece thing. So let's put that there. So they can be, you know, exciting items. They can be interesting things. But then we could have a centerpiece item in here. So people come in and see the important item and go, ooh, that's good. I would like to buy that, please. Let's put that sort of in the middle. So let's put that about there. There we go. Okay, so we've got four tables and a little kind of counter thing. Right, I believe we need to go to the counter. And now we need to start ordering some goods. And then we can put things out on the table and all that kind of stuff. So at the moment, because we're only a little shop, we can't buy too many exciting things. We have very little choice. We can buy some nails, some apples, some healing potions, some wood, and some shirts. It's all wildly exciting stuff. However, where we're buying them from does have a little bit of a markup on them. So yeah, we're paying 50% more for nails, which I believe comes from... So the value is six. We're paying a little bit more because of... What's that? The season? Is that what that is? Uh, as flowers start to bloom, tool prices become higher and food becomes cheaper. So for some reason, in spring, sorry, in springtime, when the flowers are blooming... Uh, tools become more expensive. I, I don't really know why that would be the case, but okay. And then we're paying a little bit more because I don't think we're a very big shop. We have very little in sort of way of appeal and standing and that kind of stuff. So it starts off at six. It gets bumped up to nine. Nine per nail, I guess. Um, I think we should get some healing potions. They can go on the table in the middle. They've got to be good. We've only got a capacity of 15 as well. So let's get ourselves, maybe we'll get ourselves five healing potions that sounds like quite a good thing. So that's five of our capacity already done. And we're down to 137 money. Then we'll get ourselves, maybe we'll get ourselves a load of, I mean, apples are cheap. Apples are kind of the cheapest thing we can buy that's not sort of marked up quite as much. Now, wood is the cheapest overall thing, but can we sell it for very much? Can we sell the wood for very much? We sell the wood for six and make a profit of three. Apples make a profit of three. Healing potions, oh, we make a profit of three on everything. Oh, okay. We make a profit of three on all of the things. Oh, it seems very irrelevant then. Okay, so let's just pick five apples and then we'll pick, maybe we'll pick three bits of wood and then how about two nails? Two lots of nails. So there we go. We can only hold 15 bits of stock. So yeah, we'll order those things. Now those things magically arrive because we're in a ye olde magical world. So they've just teleported in. There's no deliveries here. Um, And then we can go to the tables and we can say what we want on them. So we'll put nails on that table. And you can see they're, they're there. They've appeared on the table, which is nice. And over here, we'll put some apples. And over on that table, we'll put some wood. And over here on this table, we will put ourselves some healing potions. The pièce de résistance of our shop. There it is. A lovely healing potion. So uh, now that's it. That's all we can do right now, really. So we've got ourselves 85 monies left. I don't think we can do anything else. So I think we need to get our shop level and our appeal and all that kind of stuff up. So to open the shop, uh, this is kind of just downtime. This is just downtime at the end of the day. We can do whatever we like. This goes on for as long as we like. We go over here. We go to open the shop. <gasps> we get to name the shop. It's called Little White Horse. No, 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 no. Not Little White Horse. Okay, I had some quite good ideas for the shop name, but unfortunately there is a character limit. So we'll just call it The Cupboard. I quite like that though. It sounds kind of functional. Just going down the cupboard. Oh, where'd you get that from? I got it from The Cupboard. It sounds quite good. It's like a nice sort of brandable kind of thing. So yeah, okay, we'll call it The Cupboard and we are open. So there we go. Now we can shut up shop whenever we like, but of course that would be silly. And here comes a person. Hello, person. How are you? You're looking at the healing potion. It's a nice healing potion. Comes with a free cork, sir. So, uh, no, not interested in that. There's some some nails. Have you just come for a browse? There we go. Right, so he's come in and he would like to buy some nails. A customer would like to buy nails. Sell them some nails. There we go. We've made a little bit of profit. And now we can restock that by, I believe, I thought maybe R would restock it. But, oh no, we're out of, are we out of nails? He's bought both lots of nails. Okay. Let's pop some apples down on that table. There we go. Uh, right, we've got you. I think you want some nails. Unfortunately, we don't have any right now. Hang on a minute, because this guy here is a trader. We might be able to buy some nails. And there we go. If we buy stuff from you, it's at a considerable discount. So look at that. We buy that off you. We can sell it. So we buy it for six. Uh, is that right? No, we buy it for four. 
we buy it for four. So it initially costs six, a nail cost us six, then it goes up by one because of the season, so it goes up to seven, but then this trader is giving us 50% off, so it comes down, so we sell that, we buy it, sorry, for four, and sell it at 12, which means we make a profit of eight of our monies. So yeah, let's grab some of these. Let's stock up on nails. There we go. So we can only have that much anyway. So, okay, yes, we'll absolutely do that. And then you want to buy some nails? Absolutely, sir. We've got nails for you. Okay, restock that onto there. You want some nails? Yep, yeah, okie dokie. Right, hang on, hang on. Let's change this table to sell nails because everybody seems to want to buy some nails. Hermanus? Okay, I'm doing that wood. Oh, it's some, it's some lovely wood. And there we go. Our shop level has gone up already. Let's restock these things. Oh my goodness me. Lots of people bought many, many things. And um, there we go. Is the shop, is it coming up to closing time? It looks like it might be. Yeah, that's it. That's the end of the day. That seemed pretty good. That seemed like a very, very profitable day. So we made 57 monies. That is wonderful. We sold 13 items. We uh, made 57 monies. I'm quite happy with that. I like that. I'm very pleased with how that's gone. Now we can expand our stock thing now. We can expand the amount of stock we have because we can buy extra bits and bobs. So we can buy a crate for displaying more items. I don't know quite why you'd want to do that. I think a table's a little bit sort of more, a little bit sort of more homely looking than sticking it on a crate. Um, however, we can now get a pallet and that increases the stock pack capacity. Now, where is that gonna go? Can it live behind there? Can we just tuck it on there? And then can we get round there? Um, just. <laughs> we can we can lean over. It's fine. We can lean over the pallet. I just don't want the pallet to be out in the sort of public view. Because it looks a little bit kind of unruly there. So, okay. There we go. So, now we've got ourselves a pallet. We can store a lot more stock. We are a little bit short on the money, however. And this place is still quite expensive. Um, yeah. Okay. What we'll do is we'll close that. We'll open up the shop for the next day. So, open up. And we'll see if a trader comes by again. And we'll spend lots of money with a trader rather than getting it from the rip-off merchants that we seem to be buying stuff from there. That's really expensive. All their stuff is very, very expensive. Uh, hi, Peter. Can, can I assist you in anything? Are you looking for anything in particular? Or are you just looking at all of the items? Ah, nails. You would like to buy some nails. So you've took the nails off the table. That's not enough. You then want to buy some more nails. You know what? Okay. Have many nails, my good sir. Uh, oh, we've still got some nails. Okay, splendid. We can restock. Are you looking for some apples? Clearly not. Right, there's the trader. Okay. Hello, trader person. Can we now buy lots of things from you? Oh, no. There's no nails. Our top seller is <laughs> just not there. Let's stock up on apples. Because apples are seemingly very, very cheap. We'd buy it for two and we'd sell it for eight, which gives us a profit of six. That seems like quite a good thing. So let's get ourselves, uh, how much stock can we have now? Up to 27. That's quite good. There's no more of that item. I've, I've bought all of his apples. Okay. <laughs> um, healing potions. We'll stock up on those as well. Thank you very much. Um, that's only going to cost us 28. Is that all? Crikey. Okay. Uh, shirts. Okay. Can we buy five shirts? That's going to cost us 53. And then we just buy some wood. Uh, let's just get some wood up to... Oh, there you go. That's the maximum capacity. So we will spend 67 of our monies, absolutely max out our stock capacity, and, um, and yeah, get some items that are seemingly quite a good price. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh, look. They've appeared on the table in little boxes. That's very good. Okay. You can restock a healing potion. Ooh. Ooh, okay. We've unlocked a thing. We must have gone up to level three or something. Um, what have we done? Unlocked a crafting station. <gasps> this is very exciting. Okay, so we can now get ourselves either a forge. I don't think we can afford these things. We've only got 27 monies and it looks like these are quite expensive. Yeah, that's 50. But a forge for making tools and weapons. Okay, it could be good. Uh, a crafting station for clothing. I do like the sound of that. A stove for meals. Oh, that sounds quite nice. I like the idea of making some food. That could be good. An alchemy table for doing some alchemy. Or a kitchen garden used for growing crops. And that has to go outside. I imagine that might go quite well with the stove. I guess those two sort of would benefit each other being in existence. Um, okay. Okay. I don't, I'm not going for the forge. I'm not going for the forge. It's, that seems too sort of, too, a little bit sort of, you know, hot and combat-y and, grrr, and yeah, a bit aggressive. It's supposed to be a welcoming shop. You want to walk in and it feel nice not to have, you know, an anvil and a big kind of furnace and bellows and stuff. A tailoring station would be quite nice. That would be kind of, you know, happy and friendly. A stove would be excellent, though. 
people can pop in and just get some food as well. We can have a little cafe. <gasps> what if we can brew tea on the stove? Okay, we're having a stove. Yes, I'm unlocking a stove, please. Um, so that's unlocked. Oh, we've only unlocked access to the stove. We haven't actually purchased one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, uh, yeah, it's going to cost us 50 to actually get our hands on a stove. Okay, might be a little while before we can do that, but okay, right. Let's restock things. Yep, yeah, let's try and restock that. Put some more nails back on the table. You've done that. Um, do you want to talk to us? No, you don't. We've unlocked a mirror. Okay, is that good? We're on level three already. This is going very well indeed. Right, okay, pop a healing potion back on there. Can I interest you in anything else? Another healing potion. My goodness me, you really love the healing potions. I think we've gone through all the healing potions that we've got. I don't think we have any more healing. Oh, no, we've got four. We've got four healing potions. Why are you not restocking? Oh, you are. There you go. There you go. I thought I'd done it, but clearly not. Um, yes, we need to make sure we keep some money behind. We have some objectives here to sell 50 items. We're on 28. Um, I mean, yeah, nails would be really useful. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can get food. So vegetable soup, I imagine. I imagine that vegetable soup is artichokes and something else I would have thought but uh, but yeah it's not on there unless it's apple and artichokes <laughs> I don't know um I don't know okay do you know what let's not buy anything from there because it, it's really expensive it's very costly and we have no room to put our stove at the moment either so uh, we'll just carry on going let's open up the shop for the next day we'll get the trader to come by if they do come by that's gonna be really handy if we can get that trader in because then we can, you know, stock up on the, on our stuff for cheap. A little bit less sort of extortionate than that place. Hello. Some nice wood there. You want to buy some wood? Doing some building projects? Uh, again, building projects. Nails. Always useful. Yes. You did want some nails. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Let me put some nails on the table. Unless we're out of nails. Are we fresh out of nails? We are. Okay. It's now turned to shirts. And that place there, that's for healing potions. Ah, right. Here we go. Here we go. Trader. Just healing potions and wood. That's it. That's all they've got. Okay. They've got quite a lot of wood. They've got 11 healing potions. They are going down quite well. So we could always stock up on healing potions. Um, oh, there you go. We'll grab that many. And that's us at a capacity. In fact, how much wood have we got? Um, how much wood have we got? Six wood. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. We'll buy a load of healing potions to stock up on those. And, um, and yeah, I mean, look, they're going. They're going. They're always seemingly in demand. So that's quite good. Should I buy some wood? No. Apples. Of course, you want to buy some delicious apples. There we go. Back onto the table. There's a shirt there. Do you want to buy a nice shirt? We've unlocked a large table. Oh, happy days. <laughs> the dreams of a shopkeeper. Oh, my goodness me. Right. Hang on. Hang on. We've got a total rush on things. Uh, there. There. Apples. Wow. Okay. We did really well that day. That was a good day. That was a good shopping day here at the cupboard. I think that's going to be it by the look of it. We could do with upping our, upping our appeal a tiny little bit. But yeah, we made quite a bit of money there. That was pretty good. And we're on level four. So we can buy all these extra things. So now we can get, what's that, a shelf. Oh, this is wonderful. We can get a shelf. That is our stove. Uh, that's the pallet. What's that? <gasps> Decorative things. And that gives us 140 appeal for our sunflower bouquet. Now we do need to make sure, in fact, you know what? Do you know what? Let's pay off this bit of debt first and then go and treat ourselves to a load of very silly things. Ah, there you go. Debt payment one out of 20. Do you want to pay now or at the end of the day? Pay now. Absolutely. Can we pay the next one as well? We've got enough money for it. Can we pay a couple of a couple of installments? So let's pay now. So there we go. And now we've got ourselves one payment out of the way. Ah, yeah. Next time it's 47. So it's going up. So they're adding money on. It's kind of like negative... <laughs> Negative interest. Normally when you pay a bit off, it gets less, doesn't it? Because the amount of money you owe has come down. But no, not here. That's fine. Uh, hello. You want to buy some nails? I'm afraid I don't have any nails right now. Would you like a shirt instead? I mean, you know, nails are fine, but look at that shirt. Look at the stitching. Oh, crikey. Okay, hang on a minute. Restock that. Talk to Chappie. Um, wool. Wool has now appeared as one of the things. Now, apples we probably could do with getting a couple of. Get a couple of apples. Um, we'll stock up on some healing potions. Get two of those. Uh, wood, we've got five. Do we just want to grab some wool? How much money do we make on an artichoke? Six. We make seven profit on a piece of wool, though. Is it worth grabbing a bit of that? It's, it's cheap to buy. It's very cheap to invest in. Um, 
Yeah, let's stock up on wool then. There we go. So we're at capacity. So buy all those things. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let me go and restock some things. It's very busy. Right. Nails. I'm really sorry. We're out of nails. You would like what you want? Artichokes. Sorry, not got them in yet. Problem with the uh, supplier. They're very unreliable. They're terrible. They're not here, are they? No, it's absolutely fine. You want nails as well. We haven't got any nails. We haven't got any nails. Presumably this place is, you know, responsible for a large sort of building project around here or something. Because everybody seems to want nails. Ah, wool. There is wool just there for you. You want some more wool? I don't know. You can, you can have some more if you like. We can always put some more wool out for you. Uh, okay. I don't feel that day was our finest day. I don't think we sold as much that day as we did on other days. We have, however, got 173. That was by far our best day. I will just be quiet. Okay. So now we've got ourselves access to all these very lovely things. So we've got our stove. So we could start doing something with that. I would like to get another pallet down. Because I feel like we could always have some more things. We could have some more things to sell. I also would like to get this thing down to give us a massive boost to our appeal to maybe get some more people in. In fact, yeah, look, place decoration and reach a higher appeal level. So it's even saying, yeah, sort your appeal out, please. And the thing is, the shop is quite small. So how about we invest in a little bit of extra space? So here we go. So we can put down a wood area like we've got there or a broken wood area, which have we, is that what we've got now? I'd rather it not be broken looking. I'd rather it just be nice. I mean, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, don't accept those changes. Undo all the layout planning. Absolutely. Do not carve a big hole into the shop. <laughs> okay, that was ill-advised. I was ill-advised. Let's not do that again. That was silly. Um, Let's say if we just want to put something over there. So one little bit of space. And yeah, it is just that. It's just regular wood. Okay, so that cost 21 to put down that square. So if we do that and that over there, we could have our stove thingy, whatever it is, sort of cookery thing there. And then maybe a nice table just here. And then if we pop a bit just there, maybe we could put the pallet behind here and have a couple of pallets over that way. It is quite expensive, but I think that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Accept those changes. So right now, right now the shop's going to look a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but I mean in the future... I want to get it looking interesting. I want it to have little outside bits. So you can go outside and look up at the sky and we can have a little sort of garden bit. Maybe over this side we can have ourselves growing some nice sort of fresh things in those garden plots. And then, um, and yeah, it, I don't want it to just be a great big kind of massive open kind of, you know, like a supermarket type thing. I want it to have little rooms and maybe we can have like an alchemy area. And I don't know if we get the ability to yeah, change the wall colours and stuff and hang things on the walls and have curtains and what have you. But... If we can do that, then yeah, we're going to try and make some sort of individual sort of looking areas. Okay, now can we move this? Pick up. Yeah, we can. Okay, right. I'm overburdened because I have to do all this sort of moving around of stuff. So let's put that there for now. We'll tuck the pallet right in the corner. Uh, we've got 101 monies. Let's increase our appeal then. Go on. I mean, we do need another pallet to store more goods. But more importantly, we can get ourselves a little vase of sunflowers, which is splendid. Um, Where do we want to put this? Let's put it right there. So people come in and they see it and they can go, ooh, they are some lovely sunflowers. There we go. The shop appeal has increased and it will attract more customers. So we're on appeal two. That was a massive boost. That took us throughout all the rest of level one and then through most of level two as well. That is wonderful. We can't really afford anything else now, however. Um, also, there's a mirror that we can buy and a trash bin. Okay, slightly less glamorous. I mean, the mirror, okay, nice. Trash bin, okay, kind of, you know, trash. And we can't, uh, we can't do anything else. We can't build anything else. We can only do a counter, but we've already got one of those. Um, okay, fine. Let's open up the shop. Let's see what happens on this day. Let's hope that lots of people come in. We're still sort of working our way through spring. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Look at the sunflowers. Come and admire the sunflowers. Took me ages to get them. In no way did I run out to a field at night time and steal them from a local farmer. I absolutely grew those. Um, oh, a shirt. Yes, you can have a shirt. We've got shirts. You can have those. Uh, was it you that bought some wool before? Oh, no, you're looking for artichokes. Uh, really sorry. Supplier problems. Oh, no. He had a sad face. He had a grumpy, sad face. Uh, ha ha. Right. Trader. Hello, trader. Nails. Oh, happy days. We can get ourselves some nails again. I think everything else is looking well stocked. So we'll just grab ourselves four lots of nails. We will buy that. 
And there we go. So we're full, uh, you know, full capacity. Uh, however, we've just gone up to level five. We'll restock that with wood. I'm afraid we do not have any artichokes at the moment. I apologize. We'll, we'll try and get them into our food sector soon of the shop. But uh, yeah, it might take a while. It might take a while. Right. Here come some more people. And you've bought something. And we'll stock that back with apples. We'll put a healing potion on there. You want a shirt? Absolutely. Have a shirt as well, my good sir. You're good. Engelbart just spent some good money in here. I like Engelbart. Uh, you want a shirt as well? Absolutely. Who am I to deny you a lovely shirt? And some nails can go back on there as well. Okay, so nails are now back in the shop. Not got that much money to do too much with. Not got a lot of money. When have we got to do our next debt thing? Oh, it's in a little while. It's in a little while. That's not so bad. Okay, go back into here then. So now we now have a double shelf. That could be very handy indeed. A double shelf could go over here. That's going to be really useful. Um, it's flying. It's flying? Why is the double shelf flying? It's it's really high up. I wasn't expecting the double shelf to be quite so high. <laughs> Why is it up there? Okay, hang on. No, that's confusing. I don't want a double shelf. It seems to be weirdly positioned and I don't like it. It scares me. Um, how do people get to them? How on earth do people get to those shelves? They seem very high. Okay. Um... Do we have anything else that we can put down? We've got a crate, we've got a shelf, we've got a double shelf. Didn't we unlock a big table? Wasn't there a big table somewhere? I don't know where that is. Ah, now one thing there is. In here, there are unlocks. I wonder if we've got the option to unlock a big table or something. Furniture. Um, an old cupboard. Oh, it seems it seems wonderfully appropriate. A large old cupboard. Um, okay, so none of those things. These are all really high levels. Shop upgrades, level 9. Uh, crafting, that's... Uh, we've already got one of those. Don't know if we can get another one or not. Furniture, yeah, the required level is 6. Decoration is level 6. And floor is level 9. Okay, so we can't do much with unlocking anything. I thought it said somewhere that we'd unlocked an old uh, a large table. But clearly not. Um, okay. Do you know what? We've got 63 monies remaining. Let's go and do another day. Let's do another day. So we'll open up the shop. We'll do another day. We'll see what money we end up with at the end of this day. If we've got 100, we might put one of those double shelves down. And I will try and see how they work. <laughs> they didn't seem to make much sense to me. They seem to be far too high up in the sky. But maybe it will work. Not another person who wants artichokes. I'm really sorry. We need to get some artichokes in the shop. Lots of people seem to be wanting artichokes. They're very much in season kind of vegetable now. Uh, okay, do you want some wood? Yes, you do. Okay, have some more wood, my good sir. And you want some apples. Okay, chuck them down. And what can we buy from you? We could buy some artichokes. We've got quite a bit of capacity. Let's grab ourselves some artichokes. Because they seem popular. And grab ourselves a nail. And a bit of wood. Uh, how much money do we make on the wood? Five. The nails are also five. Okay, we'll grab a bit of wood as well just to stock up. And there we go, 27. Okay, splendid. Right, put a healing potion back out. Uh, you would like some wool. Absolutely, have some wool. It's not on display, but it's still in the shop. Uh, there's some wood. Do you want a healing potion? Peter? Paeta? Do you want that? No. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's mulling it over. It was a bit of a hard sell there. And you would also like some wool. Yes, you can have wool too, my good sir. And you are not buying anything. You come in quite a lot, Elizabeth. Oh, you are. There we go. And we've unlocked the old cupboard. Ah, oh, it is a glorious day. And you would like a shirt. I don't think we have any shirts. No. I'm very sorry, but we don't have any shirts. I do apologize. But okay, there you go. So you're going to clear off. And we're going to pay 47 debt in... Oh, still four days. Oh, the time must be a lot longer on the next installment. Okay, that's fine. So get customers to the maximum opinion rating. Okay, that might take a little bit of effort because if we haven't got what they want, they're going to be a bit grumpy. Use a crafting station. We'll hopefully be able to place one soon. Place decoration and reach a higher appeal level. We need to place one more down and that'll complete that. And then sell more items. We sell 100 of them now. Okay, so can we now go to unlocks? And where was it? Was it furniture? Um... Uh, hang on, no, it must have appeared in here. It must appear in here now. So hang on a minute. So no, come out of you, away with you, and away with you. Bye. I'm going to that. Yes, an old cupboard has appeared. Oh, this is perfect. We're putting an old cupboard. It's massive. The old cupboard is also a huge cupboard. Okay, <laughs> wow. Okay, let's drop the old cupboard 
in the corner as much as we can anyway. So try and rotate it so it's oh, so it's sort of level about there. And then just sort of drop it down into the nearest available space. So yeah, about there and about there's as much in the corner as we can do it. So let's pop that there for now. And now we have ourselves an old cupboard. An old cupboard in the cupboard. Maybe that should be our only medium of displaying things from now on. We should just put everything in cupboards because we're called the cupboard. That would seem an appropriate kind of use of our things. Okay, and then into here. Oh, hang on, I'm going to close the menu. Uh, this has got slots for three things. Okay, nails, wood, and uh, anything else that's more kind of industrially? Um, no, I was thinking maybe we could put nails, wood, and wool on there or something, but no. However, that does mean we can go over to here, uh, get rid of the wood. So can we do that? And then put artichokes on. Oh, the people of the village will be delighted that there's artichokes for them now. Hooray! And apples and nails. Okay, there we go. I'm happy with that. Now, have we got anything else we can place? Any other decor? <gasps> We've got other stuff. We've got a barrel. The barrel adds 170 appeal. Really? Just an old wooden barrel. <laughs> Why is that appealing? Okay, fine. I mean, there's sunflower bouquet. I get that. It's some beautiful sunflowers in a nice vase on a fairly fancy looking table. That's nice. I like that. Kind of look in and it's all bright and colourful and makes it look nice. A barrel is just a barrel. Okay. And then the picture is relatively cheap. It does only add 65, however. But I suppose the good thing about a picture is that it does not take up valuable kind of, you know, floor real estate. It's just going to sit on the wall. Hang on, can we change the variants? No, I don't think we've actually unlocked any variants of it yet. I don't think that's happened yet. So if we do unlock more paintings, they would appear in here. But at the moment, the only painting we've got is the lazy cat. Which sounds like a nice painting, but uh, yeah, we can't afford it anyway. So, uh, okay, right. Let's open up the shop for another day. So this is what, day eight? Day eight of our shopping lifestyle now starts. So here we go. So Harmon comes in. And are you going to the old cupboard? No, he's, he's immediately going to artichokes. Oh no, he's not buying the artichokes. He's now looking up at some wood and some nails. Not bothered about that either. There you go, look. He bought the artichokes. Artichokes are the in thing at the moment. And now what's that you want? Chamomile? <gasps> to make tea. I'm really sorry. We haven't got any right now. Maybe if you could wait a little while for the uh, trader guy to come in, we might be able to buy some from the trader if he's got any. Oh, there's a rush. There's a rush on chamomile. Can we buy any? No, unfortunately not. We cannot buy any chamomile. That is a sad state of affairs. Um, okay, the nails are making less profit because we're now paying a little bit more for those. Um, how about, I mean, do we need any more artichokes? I mean, okay, we'll buy a couple of them. We'll buy a couple of bits of wool. And we'll buy some shirts, because people were asking about shirts. So, okay, there we go. We'll do that. Doesn't leave us with very much money at all. And I'm really sorry, but we are, we are lacking chamomile at the moment. I'm really sorry. But we do have some wool. So you can have some wool. So, you know, not everybody's going away disappointed. Uh, what do you want? Anna. Anna, come on, there's a healing potion in the middle here. A lovely healing potion. If you go out and decide to have a little bit of a fight, you can use the healing potion, Anna. Uh, also take some nails with you, because you could use those as a kind of makeshift weapon, if you so wished. No, Anna's not going for it. Anna's just sort of, uh, Anna was just window shopping. You tease, Anna, you tease. I thought we could make some good profit. Uh, and another person buying the uh, healing potion there. And the end of the day rolls around. We're so near to getting to that next um, level of appeal to get more people in the shop. We only made 34 on that day. That was not that good, but we did invest in quite a lot of stuff. So I think what we'll do is we'll keep the 78 just straight open up again. Just get on with it. Just let's start doing some stuff. Is there anything here that's not completely extortionate? It's all really expensive. Why do we pay through the nose from our kind of main suppliers? <laughs> Can we not just get the trader guys to come by? They're really expensive. Okay, you're not buying a healing potion. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. We need to restock that a little bit. That's not got the nails on it there. Restock that. That could help quite a bit. Oh, and they've gone from that place as well. Get some nails on over there. And, oh, crack it. And back over here. Get some nails. Oh, no, we're out of nails. Uh, we're out of nails. Okay, wool. Wool can go on there now. And shirts. It can be useful for many things. Right. Have you got chamomile? No. Unfortunately not. Um, people still do want nails. They seem to be quite a popular thing. We'll buy a couple. We'll buy just a couple. Maybe we'll buy three. Buy three of those. I've got four healing potions. 
Uh, we've not got any wool. That's been relatively popular. We'll buy four lots of that. And there we go. Right, sorted. Right, you there. Um, Chappy, I'm really sorry. Still still none of that. I apologise. Um, artichoke, though. If you want those, we're sorted for those. Uh, you, no chamomile. I apologise. There's some nails. Okay, okay. It's all looking good. Oh, chamomile is becoming... <laughs> It's very much in demand, and we just don't have access to it at all. Have we got it through here? Yeah, we have. We'd make a profit of just three. Just three. That is a little bit poor, isn't it? That's not good at all. We could do with making a bit more money on that. But I suppose, yeah, it does mean that people are happy and they're more likely to come back to the shop. Uh, okay, put some more nails back on the table. Are you going to buy anything else? I suspect you might be the final customer. What on earth is that you want to buy? Sound like an iron ingot or something. You want to buy some iron? I don't have any iron. I've got some apples and some artichokes. Maybe a nice shirt, but I seem to be lacking iron. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Let's restock that onto there. There we go. And um, we'll change this. And let's put uh, let's put apples back out. Oh, no, we've already got apples just there. Um, what do we need to actually put out? Uh, I don't think we need to put anything out right now. However, it might make sense for us to get our hands on some chamomile. So let's just grab a couple of bits of that. Let's grab four bits for 20. So order that. We'll put that onto that table. And hopefully people will be happy with this. And we're not going to upset everybody. And over there we've got nails. And we've got wood. And we've got uh, shirts. Okay. Now we could, we could get ourselves an extra bit of decoration. We could do that. That would be quite nice. But... Do we want to keep this money behind? Because I think we're going to have to pay 47 monies. Let's get that done. Let's open the shop. Yep, yep, absolutely. Pay that right now. That covers our debt for now. But in six days, we're going to owe 55 monies. What on earth do we owe this money for? Why is this happening? I mean, how badly mismanaged was this place in the past? <laughs> I like the fact they've just sort of palmed it off on us. And gone, do you know what? Whatever, Dorothy will deal with it. Is really? Will she? Oh, okay. Right, chuck some more things back there. And that's it. We've got that done. Customer is king number one is sorted. I don't know if we get anything for it, but it's done. Oh, oh, hang on. There's a complete rush on. There's a complete rush on all of the things. Right, you. What can we buy off you? Iron is now a thing we can buy. We're also out of nails. And we've only got one shirt. So we'll stock up on a couple of shirts. And then seeing as people are wanting to buy iron, we do make seven on iron. So let's get ourselves, uh, I don't know, the rest of iron. Just stock up on iron there. We've got enough wood. And uh, we don't see to... Actually, we've got no nails. Bring that down. Have two lots of nails. Buy that there. And then we need a place to actually show off uh, the wood. So let's restock that for now. We could do with buying an extra... Hang on, hang on. On there then. Uh, not the wood. The iron is what I meant. There we go. Iron. And he wanted to buy some iron. So that's perfect. Uh, you want chamomile? Yep, absolutely. It's just not out on the tables yet. Hang on a second. Uh, that's chamomile. I thought I told you to... No, not that. Iron. Put iron out on that table, please. There we go. And then over here, in there, let's put... In fact, let's put iron onto there. And let's put... Oh, you want some wood? Okay. Yep, absolutely. There you go. Have some wood. And you can have some wood just there. And that needs restocking. And we don't have any apples. So let's put the chamomile out on there. Oh, cracky. It's it's quite hectic life being a shopkeeper. I, what's it going to be like when the entire shop is not little anymore? When it's big and takes up all this space? It's going to be really hard to manage. We're just going to be... <laughs> we have to just sort of do lots of this. Sprinting around. But yeah, at the moment, we're kind of on top of things, more or less. So we need to sell some more items. Right. 115. We've got some good things in stock. Are we able... To now treat ourselves to another decorative item and get our appeal up. I think that's what we've now got to do. Uh, ah, a small rug costs 50. That's not so bad. And gives us 40 appeal. I imagine that will push us over onto appeal level 3. And we can just put that... Do you know what? Let's put that at the base of the counter. Let's kind of get that nicely in line with... Oh, look at that. Hang on. Do we want it that way around? No, that looks, that looks silly. Let's put it there... Can we get it sort of straight? Yeah, I like that. We'll just sort of tuck that under there and people come in and think, gosh, that is a, a lovely rug you've got underneath the counter there. And there we go. We complete that task and we're on appeal level three as well, which is wonderful news. Okay, right. I'm really happy with how that's gone. It's looking good. We've got some good stock. We could get a bit more. Do we need some more chamomile? Oh, it's also expensive. Potatoes. Potatoes are now a thing. 
and potato seeds, chamomile seeds. Now this is where we start growing our own stuff and that would be really good. That would be really, really good. Can we unlock the little sort of uh, the plot here? Where was it? Kitchen garden. Can we do that? Used for growing crops. Can we unlock that? No, we can't unlock it, unfortunately. I wonder when we next get to unlock a thing. I don't know. Does it tell us in here? Oh, I don't know about that, but there's a little specialization tab over here, which shows us kind of what our shop is more known for. So our shop specialization. And uh, yeah, apparently it updates when the shop opens and it's based on what we have on display. And it looks like we are more of a sort of a farm shop at the moment, which is absolutely fine by me. I like that idea. I mean, blacksmith, yeah, the nails sell very well. Not so enamored with that. I would rather be a farmer. I would rather be able to sell potatoes and chamomile and apples and artichokes and other lovely kind of produce. I like that idea. I mean, alchemist, yeah, we sell healing potions because that's what we do. And then Taylor, we've sold a few shirts. But yeah, mostly we're known for being a little farm shop. Well, that's lovely. I quite like that. Uh, do you know what? Let's open up. Let's open up. We'll do this. We'll get to, we'll sort out day 11, I think. So let's go through and see what we can do. Can we clear level seven and get on to level eight? That would be nice. I don't know if we can do it or not. Depends whether everybody comes in and buys all the stuff. Go on. Artichokes. They're lovely. They're arty and choky. Oh no, you decided to... You looked at artichokes and then bought whatever was on there. Um, okay. Ha put wool on there. Put wool on there and uh, you can have... Where's wood? Wood can go on there and... Hang on a minute. Restock that. Oh, crikey. Hang on a minute. Shirts can go on there. <laughs> um, you want some chamomile? We haven't got any, I'm afraid. You want some apples? We haven't got any, I'm afraid. You there, though. What can we get from you? Um, we've got capacity for 10 more things. Now, healing potions are not really selling very much anymore now. Healing potions are very much not in. So we've got those, but they're not really going anywhere. Vegetable soup seems relatively expensive. Uh, we could go back to getting some nails. They seem to be quite cheap, but iron and wool seem to be the in thing. So let's grab four each of those. Uh, there we go. Doesn't quite pose at capacity, but it will do the job. And then let's move that and we will put iron onto that table. There we go. Uh, you want apples? I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I know we're known as a farm shop, but we're out of apples, I'm afraid. It, it's tough times down over at the orchards. <laughs> Terrible blight has happened. It's just awful. Uh, okay, however, however, we can give you some artichokes. Chamomile, we are struggling with a little bit. I mean, can we just order some in? Can we order some chamomile right now? Does it just appear? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you would like to buy some chamomile. It doesn't magically appear. It will arrive at the end of the day, I imagine. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, everybody. I'm sending people away. I don't like sending people away. You look like a trader. They just sort of came in and went away again. Okay, bye-bye, trader person. Cheerio. And I think that's the end of the day by the look of it. Yeah, that wasn't great either. That wasn't great. Right, let's replace those with... Okay, so what... Hang on, what's over here? What's over here on this thing? So we've got ourselves a uh, shirt and iron and let's put wool on there. So shirt, iron and wool goes over there, which means we don't need iron over there. So let's put some chamomile on that table. And then in the middle here, uh, we've got wood over there. We've not got nails anywhere. They can ask for nails, however. So how about we get ourselves some apples? Because people seem to be wanting basics again. So we'll get ourselves three apples and then that's the maximum of our stock. So, okay, order that. Get rid of the healing potions. Put some apples down. So, you know, again, we're going back to our sort of farming, sort of, you know, nature kind of roots. And there we go. Right, splendid. I'm quite happy with how that's looking now. So I think what we'll do is... We'll finish up for the moment with Vinculture, but we will come back to this because I can see this developing into a game that's a lot of fun. I mean, okay, it's slow going at the start. We're not making loads of profit off these things. But I imagine when we get our um, our stove thingamajig in, I imagine that will allow us to make some quite nice things. And it's one of our sort of goals up here to you know, actually use a crafting station. So that must be a key thing. So it's probably good that we get the stove in sooner rather than later. So we'll get that in maybe next time, see what we can do with that, maybe make some nice meals or whatever. Um, and and uh, what's that? Increase the total amount of item spots in your store by placing displays. Oh, so it wants us to sell more things on more kind of display kind of cases or whatever. Okay, we can do that as well. And um, and yeah, we've got more sort of decorative items. We could put down some more pictures. We need some more pallets because I think we do need some more storage. And then we'll try 
if we can and just make it look a bit interesting. We'll try and use what little money we have to just expand the shop out a bit. But we don't just want it, as we said before, to be just a great big kind of block of space. It needs to be interesting. It needs to have different kind of areas and different sort of regions and stuff. So, you know, maybe here, maybe next to the old cupboard, which is wonderful. And I still do think we should have everything on cupboards. Whether it's old cupboards or new cupboards, I'm not bothered. But I still think cupboards should be our main delivery mechanism. Um, I think we'll put like a door just here. And then we'll expand out this way and maybe we could put our stove over here and then maybe we could put all of our tables or a cupboard indeed with all the sort of fruit and veg on over here and have a little kind of like a pantry if you like a little sort of food area might be quite nice so people can go in there and they can grab the food items from near to the stove that's quite good and then maybe in the front here we could have some potions and more sort of like industrial things like the wood and the nails and the iron and stuff maybe that's what we'll do I quite like the sound of that. And I would also love to get the little sort of garden growing plot things in as well. Because that sounds very nice too. So yeah, we will come back to this. I see this uh, I see this being very fun indeed. We can sort of, you know, tinker about and we'll paint the walls and we'll decor the place and all that kind of stuff. There's lots of lovely decorative items. So we'll certainly be returning to Vinculture. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here with Dorothy the shopkeeper here in Vinculture. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. <laughs> These people are eating the tables. They're just devouring the tables. They're so hungry. There's no atmosphere at all. Were well, you sat in the car park? <laughs> are you sure you came to the right place? Mein Knien stan in Brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this.